Selamat Siang. Welcome to Bali. It's now early afternoon. Selamat Siang. Just thought I'd just put a video together for you guys who are staying in Seminyak area of the three, three best places to go for lunch or dinner. Just off to have lunch at the second restaurant in my in this video series of best places to eat in Seminyak for lunch and dinner. Now, I've just got to stress too that there, there are hundreds of amazing places to eat in Seminyak and some quite famous places like coup d'etat, uh, Potato Head, Mexicali, uh, La Luciola. There are so many high-priced, high-end, amazing places. The ones that I'm choosing are probably not so well known. Uh, one or two off the beaten track, but more moderately priced. So not, it's not cheap, but they're not going to break the bank. So I'm just off to do number two. They're coming out in no particular order. This is just going to be my uh, favourites. Hopefully I can get a third one in before I head back home from this holiday. But I ate here the other day and I'm sure you're going to like it. So this is it, Bow and Bun. You see it just across the road, a little bit windy here at the moment. It's a real Asian fusion type place. Really, really, really cool. And it's right on the main road, Jalan Raya Seminyak. So let's go and check it out. Okay, you can see from the menu, you've got sort of uh, Vietnamese, you've got banh mi, banh mi with the pork belly buns, you've got bao gao pork belly, it's definitely Vietnamese influences, Korean, uh, more Vietnamese up here, and then you've got some wok food, pad thai from Thailand, chicken and cashew, very Thai, thai style, and that's Thai, Tom Yong Gong, so you can see it's a very uh, eclectic mix of Asian foods. They claim that the foods aren't genuinely Asian, but um, it's their sort of uh, take on it. Oh, look at that, just in time. So I've just ordered, so I'll just uh, give you a quick look around. It's quite a nice place, and in the evening they've got upstairs and out the back. So you see the front area here on the road. We've also got the uh, bar area here and this sort of very Vietnamese style furniture. Well, that stairs, the door's open. Oh, a bit of a hot area. And you've got this cool Vietnamese place up here. Great for the night time. It's cool, funky uh, concrete on this door. Love it. A bit hard to be up there during the day. You can see where the influences came from. Well, here it is. Gorgeous ban me tit. Ban me tit. I have to be careful, some massive slices of chilli in there. And lots of lots of sliced roast pork belly. Beautiful. Looking forward to this. When I was here the other night, I, I just settled for a pad thai, and that was fabulous. So let's go all Vietnamese tonight. Mm. First bite of the banh mi, delicious. There are whole chilies in there, but they're not too hot. And the uh, the carrot, the cucumber, and everything over there, the pork is just melts in your mouth. Oh, I'm not, I'm, I need to find out what else they put in there. There's a beautiful sort of um, sauce in there. It's definitely got a hint of fish sauce in it. These things here are little um, deep fried wonton skins. Mm. 
not that you need any more carbohydrates after this bun. The bun is spectacular, crispy and crispy on the outside, and super, super fresh and soft on the inside. So, first impression of the bun me. Next to perfect compared to Vietnam. Uh, of course, in Vietnam you get the pork pate and everything else as well, so it's a little bit more pork shoulder, pork belly. This has got the pork belly in it, but the service here is fantastic too. These two guys, ready and uh, Eddie. Eddie. Great service as well, and they're very interested as to why I'm filming everything, but just been explaining to them why. So that was number two. Not number two in terms of second, number two on my top choices for moderately to expensive prices in, uh, but that was very moderate, you know? uh, places to eat that and your regular, uh, everyone knows about, you know, coup d'etat and all that sort of stuff. So these are a little bit off the beaten track, so we've, so far we've done Kilo Kitchen, the second one is Bo and Bun, right on the heart of Jalan Seminyak. I will be putting links in the bottom in the description, so you won't have to think, you know, worry about writing it down and all that sort of stuff. It'll be there in the description. Hopefully, I can fit one more in before I head off because I'm leaving Bali tomorrow. So fingers crossed, I get another one in. Cheers, catch up.